census data shows mass exodus from Democrat-run cities to red states. Because people don't want to be in these crime-ridden uh crime ridden places, these these uh, crime ridden cities. It's similar to the um, last video that I did talking about uh, Democrat um, ran cities that um, people are, are just, they're just running from because uh, you can't even go to the grocery store without fear of being robbed or killed or things like that. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so you can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts as well, so check those out. All right, let's talk about this news. Counties overlapping Democrat-run cities such as Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York top the list of locales that have been losing uh, population, while the biggest inflows of people have been to Arizona, Texas, and Florida, according to the census. Now, <laughs> what do these three places have in common, Arizona, Texas, and Florida? You have uh, you have more freedom out there, basically. And that's one of the reasons. And the cost of living is a lot lower. You don't have all these taxes that places like New York and California have. I mean, it's, it's just craziness. I don't know why anyone would want to live, especially in California, in a place like that. Other than the weather. That's about the only thing that's, that got California got going for them. But a press release by the United States Census Bureau released that the top county in terms of population lost was Los Angeles County, which lost 90,704 people over a one-year period from 2021 to 2022. Elsewhere in California, Santa Clara County lost 15,650 people, and Almeida County lost 14,840 residents. Cook County, Illinois, home to the city of Chicago, lost 68,314 people during that same time period. No joking. If I lived in California, I would find some way to get out of, get get away from this place. Uh, not even Walmart wants to be in, in Chicago. But in New York, Queens County lost 50,112 people. Kings County lost 46,970 people. And Bronx County lost 41,143 people between 2021 and 2022. According to the Census Bureau, 68% of the largest counties in the United States experienced population gains. The counties that had the largest inflows of uh, new residents were Maricopa County, Arizona, which includes Phoenix, and Harris County, Texas, which has Houston as its county seat. Indeed, six of the 10 counties that experienced the largest population gains were located in the Lone Star State, with Harris and five other counties experiencing an influx of 209, 182 people in, um, in aggregate. And I'm one of those people that flee to uh, Harris County as well, out here in Houston. But um, other big winners in terms of population gain were located in, in um, the state of Florida. The Census Bureau reported that counties of Polk, Lee, and Montgomery together gained 90,842 people. The Census Bureau noted that while a pandemic era flight from big cities were, um, was a population boom to rural locales, this trend was more muted between 2021 and 2022. Instead, while some cities continued to lose residents, the major benefactories uh, beneficiaries are, were different cities elsewhere in the county, particularly the South and West. Data from the Public uh, Policy Institute of California suggested economic conditions, rising costs, particularly in housing and a large homeless population that roam some of California's largest cities uh, were major drivers of population decline in the state, totaling roughly half a million people between 2020 and 2022. I mean, the, the, the homeless problem in California is just atrocious. But similarly, an Illinois Policy Institute analysis of data from the Internal Revenue Service found that between, 20, between 2019 and 2020, the average person leaving the state earned over $30,000 more than the average person moving to the state. The analysis also revealed that besides the um, adjacent states of Indiana and Wisconsin, the main state's residents were fleeing to 
with Texas, Florida, and Arizona. The report cited jobs, housing, and tax policy as major factors driving residents to other states. To that, I'm saying no doy. I mean, of course, people are going to go uh, where the jobs are. People are going to go where it's less tax, less taxing, and more housing, of course. Notably, neither Texas nor Florida levies a state income tax, and Arizona taxes personal income at roughly half the Illinois rate. It's about the economy, stupid. That's what I always say. But um, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh.